So the momentum in this race is shifting. And there are signs that Donald Trump is feeling it. You may have noticed. So last week, you may have seen, he pulled out of the debate in September he had previously agreed to. Anything about that. So he won't debate. But he and his running mate sure seem to have a lot to say about me. And by the way, don't you find some of their stuff to just be plain weird? Well, Donald. Yes, I'm actually shocked to see the kind of reactions I'm seeing on social media partaking to Kamala first rally with Mega the Stallion. A lot of black people are realizing, like, what is this? I don't want to talk much. Let me first play this clip. You see, then I'll give you the full analysis of what is going on on social media. I do hope you'll reconsider to meet me on the debate stage. Because as the saying goes, if you've got something to say, say it to my face. And in the words of my brother Takeoff, let me get a come on up. So it's only right in the birthplace of the culture. It's also the same place to launch the first African-American woman to run for president. Yeah, we changing the culture again. Meanwhile, I want to pick up on one point where she talks about this is a people power campaign. That's pretty funny. She's not gotten a single vote from a person in 2020 or a single vote for president in 2024. And she was coronated. There wasn't even a primary for her to be elected. So... It's like the People's Republic of China. The Communist Party said, this is who we're going to support. And now the people must love her. Yes, I said it. Um, it is happening. If you realize recent posts about Kamala Harris are rising simply because she is not speaking. The mainstream media and media outlet are the one doing the campaign. Immediately she started, you can see the backlash she is receiving. When I go through TikTok, you know, search on videos, the kind of clips people are putting out not looking good. And this is the first rally Kamala Harris is having. Go around social media and see for yourself. People are criticizing what we saw. We make a decision. When you take a look at this article here, Kamala Harris blasted after Megan the Stallion sing X-rated lyrics at Atlanta rally, not a serious campaign. That is the truth. It is not serious. If you see the kind of dance step twerking on of this campaign rally, I don't know. She could have just said, oh, people below this age should not be part of the rally because I believe there were children there what is the essence of this? If you want to do rallies, bring in, in Megan the style. We all know who she is. I don't want to judge her. She's a musician. But this actually shows what they think about black people. Hey guys, this is Savannah reporting to you from inside of Kamala Harris's rally, which just wrapped up. Now you guys saw all of the footage and there was actually a lot of energy for her in the building. Almost every single seat was filled, not every single one. But many people are questioning, well, were they here to see Kamalo or were they here because Quavo, Meg Thee Stallion were here and it was essentially a giant concert. And I'm gonna be honest, guys, people started leaving about 15 minutes after she started speaking, which was kind of notable to me because, you know, this is their first presidential rally in Georgia. And so I thought people would have wanted to listen to her. And then also she really only spoke for about 30 minutes, I would say, so it was a very, very short speech, but people couldn't make it through it. I kept seeing streams of people continuously leave and I was like, well, you know, maybe it's the one-off person. But then I started seeing people leave from every single level. And I was like, okay, I mean, maybe there is a little bit of truth in people having come here to see the performances. I don't know how many were here just for Kamala. Um, however, that being said, there was a lot of energy and uh, you guys saw the clips, the performances. Um, there's a lot going on here in Georgia with Kamala. So 
just my update from being here at the rally. Donald Trump, on the other hand, has been talking a big game about securing our border, but he does not walk the walk. Or as my friend Quavo would say, he does not walk it like he talks it. Yes, I believe you notice what happened here. A lot of people show up to this rally simply because of the con free concert they were to attend. They wanted to see Mega the Stallion. Immediately after that concert, they started leaving. It was a flaw. I don't know who actually gave her the strategy you know, to bring in this lady at this time. It's the same thing I saw with Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton, Jay-Z was the Beyonce with, you know, they show up at the same time. People didn't see turn out the way they expected. In a place like this, people want to see an example of artists. People respect. Okay, from the videos I watched, someone said, this is the kind of presidency we will have. We are not interested to see Megan Thee Stallion in your rally. Oh, I don't disagree with Megan Thee Stallion. She's a musician. She can do her thing. But... Focus to tell us you about your policies, what you would do. Really tell me what she said here. That is really new. That is good. A good policy that she's bringing in. I want you to know. Now talking about the border issue, she's trying to deviate away from the truth. Like, oh, uh, Trump kill a border be things like that, which is a lie. People in Congress, they simply because of the game. Democrat play all along. Initially, they do not want to do anything. When they realize this period is coming up, they started playing the game. Oh, we are not interested to solve the problem, which at the end of the day, it was too late. They realized, Republicans realized it was a game they want to play fast. Okay, Joe had that knowledge to sign that B before this even started. Just recently, he signed the B. Oh, now when I signed that B, uh, uh, the number of people entering has dropped. Why did you not do it initially when you came in? Because you wanted the people to first enter, then you now claim uh, Republicans were refusing to do it. You have the authority to do. Why? You, you, you never did anything. Kamala Harris was, in, was put in charge of that. She did nothing. Because of this period that is coming up, she now pretend like, oh, we could do something. 